I cannot recall. That's the response Hillary Clinton gave to 21 out of the 25 questions she was required to answer under oath in regards to her private email server, thanks to a suit by Judicial Watch, including whether or not she ordered the destruction of work related emails after her tenure at the State Department ended in 2013. Dinesh D'Souza is the filmmaker of the extremely successful movie Hillary's America, now out on DVD. Dinesh, does that surprise you? I mean, how do you not recall whether or not you ordered the destruction? And so, in other words, I think what, this is almost like one of these things where she's, she's trained to deny because she doesn't want to have something incriminating that she says. Uh, but the evidence is there about what she did. She basically, uh, she objected to most of the questions Judicial Watch submitted, saying she didn't want to, but she was forced to answer it. It doesn't really surprise me. The other thing I found astounding is they found emails that said, uh, urged everyone to make sure they use State Department servers. Meanwhile, they said, did you wrote that email? Why didn't you adhere to it? She goes, just because my name's on the email doesn't mean I wrote the email. Is that, does that suffice? Well, I mean, we all know that uh, if you're a high-level official, there are things that come out under your name, but it's your responsibility to review them, and you are accountable for them. So that, I think, is a disingenuous response. So uh, 1,200 emails a day are coming out from WikiLinks, and uh, like you and I were conflicted about this outside hacking organization playing a role in our political process. However, well, I'm not conflicted about it because it looks to me, Brian, that WikiLeaks has now become the investigative journalism of America. Yeah. Uh, the mainstream media is not doing it. Uh, in a sense, they've become. Well, we can't get access to this private stuff. I, you, you don't... Uh, well, you know, when you see a news report behind the scenes, well, WikiLeaks is behind the scenes. You get a window into the soul of how these Democrats talk when they are in private. Okay. Okay, uh, so we differ on that. Let's talk about what, what has been revealed. It seems like that there's an interchange, believe, and take a look at this. This exchange shows that they not only have an agenda to liberalize the country, they also want to reform the Catholic Church. Here's an example, an excerpt from Sandy Newman. There needs to be a Catholic spring in which Catholics themselves demand the end of a middle-aged dictatorship and the beginning of a little democracy and respect for gender equality of the Catholic Church. I have not thought of at all about how one would plant those seeds, but it didn't end there. Of revolution or should they plant them? Just wondering. So it goes on to talk about how they're going to reform the Catholic Church and essentially mocking 28% of the country. Well, the whole sense of the church is this hierarchical dictatorship that they need to overthrow it from the, from the bottom. I mean, uh, you never hear the left speak about any religion this way. Catholics and evangelicals are sort of in a special category where a certain amount of bigotry against them is acceptable, even fashionable. Think of whether they'd say something like this about Islam. We need a to medieval own. Muslim religion. Can you imagine them saying that? They, they, not only would they not dare, politically they give favorable treatment, not only to mu the Muslim religion, but also to no religion. Get, uh, get your movie on DVD. It's really excellent. It's just out yeah. on DVD, and it's doing very well. Number one on Amazon. It does not surprise me, especially how successful it was in theaters. Thanks so much.